Mr. Gates, um, you're familiar with a company called Real Networks, are you not? Yes. Um, did uh, you ever have uh, any discussions with any representative of Real Networks uh, concerning um, what products uh, Real Networks should or should not uh, offer or distribute? No. Um, Microsoft signed two contracts with Real Networks. Um, did it not, sir? I have no idea. I thought it was one. Um, uh, Real Networks was previously called Progressive Networks, correct, sir? Right. Um, uh, in the contract or contracts, if there was more than one between Microsoft and Real Networks, was there any restriction on what services Real Networks could provide to competitors of Microsoft? I've never looked at those contracts. Did you participate at all um, in those contracts, either the negotiation of those contracts or discussions concerning those contracts prior to the time they were entered into? I knew that Muglia and Moritz were talking with Progressive about some kind of deal, but I, I didn't know uh, what, what was in the deal. Did you know anything about what was in the deal? I knew there was an investment piece. I knew there was some code licensing uh, in it. That's about all. Um, at the time that Microsoft was negotiating the contract or contracts um, with Real Networks. Um, and I'll refer to it as Real Networks, even though at the time it was referred to as Progressive Networks. Um, did you consider that company to be a competitor of Microsoft? Not, I think I was confused about what real networks, what their plans were, and therefore I, I wasn't sure if they were a competitor or not. Was there a time when you did become convinced that they were a competitor? Yes. When was that? When uh, Rob Glazer appeared in Washington, D.C. Uh, to uh, testify before a congressional committee? Senate, yes. Um, what led you to conclude from Mr. Glazer's testimony that uh, Real Networks was a competitor of Microsoft? There was nothing in his testimony. Um, why uh, did you become convinced at the time of his testimony that Real Networks was a competitor of Microsoft? Well, because he went out of his way to lie about us, I sort of thought, hmm, he must be a competitor. Uh, when you say he went out of his way to lie about you, um, when was that? Uh, that was the press interviews surrounding the, the testimony. Maybe the testimony itself, I'm not, not sure. I've never seen a transcript. Um, did you ever uh, personally have a conversation uh, with Mr. Glazer about uh, his business? A long, long time ago, when Rob was just getting started, I think there was one meeting that I had with Rob. Uh, I haven't met with him since then. 
Was that meeting before or after the contract between Real Networks and Microsoft that you say that you know about? If you mean the contract where we invested in Progressive, it was years before it and not at all related to it. When was the contract in which you uh, invested in Progressive Networks or Real Networks? I'm not sure. I guess it's about a year ago. Um, did you have a uh, conversation with Mr. Glazer a few days after uh, that agreement was signed? Oh, now that you ask me that, maybe I did. Maybe I did. I think, I think we may have had a short meeting. And um, uh, did you, in that meeting, um, uh, tell Mr. Glazer in words or in substance uh, how you thought he should limit his business? Absolutely not. Not in any way, sir? Not in any way. Um, I, did you tell him he ought to get out of the base streaming media platform business? No. Um, uh, did anyone ever tell you that Mr. Glazer um, had said he would get out of the base streaming media platform business? No. Um, did Mr. Moritz ever tell you that Mr. Glazer's stated plan was that he would get out of the base streaming media platform business? As far as I know, we didn't know what Rob's plans were. Did you ever try to find out what those plans were, sir? No. Were those plans important to you? To me personally, no. Were they important to Microsoft? On a relative basis, I'd say no. Well, I suppose on a relative basis, a business as big as Microsoft, I don't know what would be important, but um, on I can tell you. Basis, what, what, yes, tell me what would be important to Microsoft on a relative basis. Improvements in Windows, improvements in Office, breakthroughs in research, um, breakthroughs in back office. How about browsers? On a relative basis, would that be important? Was that important to Microsoft? To the degree it relates to Windows, yes. Um, what about Java or Java runtime? Was that, on a relative basis, important to uh, Microsoft? To the degree it related to Windows, yes. Um, let me um, ask you to uh, look at a document that we have marked Government Exhibit 379. This purports <coughs> to be a email from Paul Moritz. You are not shown on this as receiving a copy. Um, uh, the portion I'm particularly interested in is the um, uh, last full paragraph that says, quote, Rob's stated plan is that he will get out of the base streaming media platform business. Uh, and focus on higher level solutions, hosting, and content aggregation, and says that his goal is now to get us to get his base technology as widespread as possible, close quote. you see that? Mm -hmm. uh, did anyone ever tell you, as Mr. Moritz writes here, that Mr. Glazer had said that his stated plan was that he would get out of the base streaming media platform business? No. Um, did you, or to your knowledge, anyone from Microsoft uh, ever tell Mr. Glazer that he should get out of the base streaming media platform business? No. 
Um, uh, you are aware, are you not, sir, that one of the issues in this case is the extent to which operating systems and browsers are or are not separate. I'm not a lawyer, so I think it's very strange for me to opine on what's an issue in the case. As far as I know, the issues in the case are not uh, are something that you decide, and I don't claim to have any expertise at all. Um, and if you don't know, that's okay. But one of the things that I want to understand from you is whether your understanding, which is important to my next line of questions, uh, is that the issue of whether or not browsers are or are not a separate product from the operating system is in this case. Uh, Mr. Gates, um, do you understand that the issue of whether or not browsers are a separate product or are not a separate product from the operating system is an issue in this case? I don't consider my some, myself someone who could say if that's an issue in this case or not. Um, have you um, participated in any way in trying to get um, Microsoft uh, personnel to use language that would suggest that browsers and operating systems are not separate products? I have no idea what you mean by that. Um, well, uh, have you seen um, uh, emails um, that urge um, people within Microsoft uh, not to talk about browsers as if they were separate from the operating system? I don't recall seeing any such email. Um, are you aware of anybody within Microsoft um, who has asserted, either in an email or otherwise, that people ought to uh, not talk about browsers as if they were separate from the operating system? I don't remember any such email. Um, has Microsoft tried to get uh, companies to agree to statements that Internet Explorer comprises part of the operating system of Windows 95 and Windows 98? I know it's a true statement, but I'm not aware of us doing anything to try to get anyone else to endorse the statement. Um, uh, you're not aware of any effort by Microsoft to get non-Microsoft companies to endorse the statement that Internet Explorer um, comprises part of the operating system of Windows? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm not aware of such efforts. Um, uh, do you know whether uh, Microsoft has made any efforts to include language like that in any of its license agreements? No, I don't. Um, do you know why uh, Microsoft might uh, do that? I'm not sure. 
Um, uh, do you recognize that um, uh, OEMs um, have a need to uh, acquire the Windows operating system that Microsoft licenses? What do you mean by OEM? Is it a, a tautology because of the way you're defining it? Um, well, uh, if you take um, uh, IBM and Compact and Dell, uh, Gateway and some other companies, those are commonly referred to as OEMs or PC manufacturers, correct, sir? No, the term OEM would be quite a bit broader than that. OEMs used it means original equipment manufacturer. I see. Um, and um, does OEM uh, have a specialized meaning in your business uh, to refer to people that uh, supply personal computers? No, it usually means our licensees. Uh, and do your licensees, in part, uh, supply personal computers, sir? Some of our licensees. Um, I, the licensees to whom you license Windows um, uh, are suppliers of personal computers. Are they not, sir? If you exclude Windows CE, and depending on how you talk about workstations and servers, so that if we can uh, uh, get on common ground, uh, the licensees for Windows 95 and Windows 98 uh, would be companies that you would recognize as personal computer manufacturers. Is that correct? Yeah, almost all the licensees, Windows 95 and Windows 98, are personal computer manufacturers. Some are not, but the overwhelming majority are. Um, and um, when you price um, Windows 98, or when you priced Windows 98, um, what competitive products, if any, did you take into, into account in setting the price of Windows 98? Well, we take into account a lot of factors, not just other products. I'm sure that that is so, Mr. Gates. Uh, what I'm asking you is what um, uh, prices of what products, if any, did you take into account in pricing Windows 98? I'm sure. not saying that's the only thing you took into account. I'm just trying to find out whether there were other product prices that you took into account, and if there were, what they were. We consider all the uh, elements of competition, whether it's the, the durability of the product, the changes in, in users' demands, things going on with computing moving to the, the server, the things going on with middleware, the things going on with clones, uh, the things going on with, with other operating systems. Uh, there's a great number of factors. At the end of the day, it's, it's not very scientific. We take all those factors and and come up with our best judgment. Um, what I'm now asking you is whether there are any products whose prices you took into account in pricing Windows 98. And if the answer to that is yes, I'm going to ask you what products and what the prices were. Uh, but I, as a preliminary matter, I'm just asking whether there were such products. Well, we'd look at all the other operating systems out there, all the middleware uh, products that are out there. Uh, the general startup uh, activities out there, uh, the breakthroughs we expect. Um, some of those aren't you know, products that are on the market today. Some of them are products that are on the market today. Um, what uh, product did you consider to be your primary or the most important competitive product in pricing Windows 98? I think it's a silly question because there isn't one single product. 
oh. that stands out above others, and it's not products as much as it is the general nature of competition. Well, can you identify from the either the most important or the most important three products that you took into account in pricing Windows 98? I guess you could say in a sense, because I decided that the price of Windows 98 would be the same as the price of Windows 95, that that was the product whose pricing had the most influence on the pricing of Windows 98. What was the product other than a Microsoft product? Or what were the two or three products other than Microsoft products that most influenced the pricing of Windows 98? I wouldn't single anyone out. I could you know, talk about several different ones. What I'd like is your best judgment as to what you think, either the most important or the most important three or four or five um, uh, products were non-Microsoft products in pricing Windows 98. Your best present judgment as to what the most, most important such products were. I'd say that if you look at all the other factors we have to consider, this is just one of many, but certainly we'd look at... Uh, I want the most important. I want what you tell me are the most important. You, I know you tell me there are many others. These are not the only ones. What I want is your best judgment of what you think the most important ones are. That's all I'm asking for now. I would look at Linux, Mac OS, Java OS, uh, the whole idea of, of uh, network computing and running the applications on the, the server, which means that you have to think about pricing of server type operating systems uh, because of the way that the terminal approach can work there. So you get, you can take you know, the server operating system sort of divide up how many users it can serve, and so divide its cost down and look at that. So you get things like uh, Solaris, AIX, um, and various things that people are doing there. Uh, but it's particularly important to think of new products that aren't on the market yet and that we don't know the pricing of. Yeah, what I'm asking is what you took into account for Windows 98. And I take it what you, you, the most important ones that at least occur to you right now are what you told me. Is that fair? Yeah, I've said that that wasn't the major component in how that decision was made, but those are, uh, those were factors in the decision. Mm 